What's up? Steve Holmes here to uh, explain the myth of the Blujda. The Blujda, as it's called now, is a lick <coughs> that uh, originally came from Tony Williams, to my knowledge, and I've heard a lot of other guys do it. Steve Smith does it a lot. Uh, Vinny does it. A bunch of cats do it. Gary Novak kills it, and, and it's a very fun and cool lick. It's one of those licks that's hard to figure out just by hearing it. <coughs> and so what I wanted to do is play a very simple groove, play it, and then uh, then I will break it down. I will break down the sticking and I'll play it really slow so that uh, you guys can learn how to blujda, basically. All right, so here's a simple groove with the blujda in it. Ready? It's called the blushda because it sounds like you know someone saying blushda blushda when they're playing it. Um, the first step to learning the blushda is playing um, Swiss flams, which is uh, flam right left, flam right left, uh, slowly. And on the flam, the first hand comes down first, right? So here's the flam. Okay, the first hand comes down. The right hand comes down first, and then. <clears throat> Just play right left on the snare. So it's flam, right left, like this. Alright, get that going so you can play it at different rates. right hand on the snare after the flam, double it, okay? So instead of it's okay, I'm doubling that right. Okay. But you still want to keep that triplet flow, that Start slow and then I'll speed it up, okay? basically it. Uh, you can reverse the sticking, so for every right it's left and for every left it's right, so at that point the flam would be, you know, left hand coming down first, and then left right, like that. And then you double the left instead of the right. Which is cool to like play on the hi-hat, you know. Uh, at that point you can put the right hand on the tom-toms. put an additional flam in front of it so you're flaming twice before playing the phrase so it's like instead of uh, instead of blushed it's like blah blushed it kind of like a it sounds, I'm just putting an additional flam so it's like and uh, once you get it going I mean the the two different ways that, it, that I think it, that it's commonly played is by playing it right on the quarter note, right? So that's your quarter note, like one, two, three, four. Right, you can play on the cymbals and stuff. Put the left hand on the tom tom. Right? Another good way is to play it as a dotted eighth reference, which is like four over three. So. If, if that's your quarter note, you start to play like sixteenth notes, you can play it like this. Right, like so. Those are the pretty much the two different ways you can do it. 
Um, I'm kind of having fun with it now with experimenting with, uh, with uh, different phrases um, that incorporate, you know, both stickings of it. And we're doing like single and double reverse, double blizzdus. It's getting all kinds of weird names. But stuff like this, this is, this is the stuff I'm doing with it now. Uh, uh, get it into your playing so that you don't have to think about the sticking anymore. It becomes a phrase that you hear in your head. So when you're listening to music, you're thinking like, boom, and that kind of stuff. So that's pretty much it. The uh, mystery of the blushta for, uh, for you guys. Have fun with it. And don't hurt anybody with the blushta. It's not a toy. It's